on the basis of origin natural resources can be classified as biotic and abiotic abiotic resources are non living for example soil rocks minerals etc but biotic factors abiotic resources are living for example plants and animals natural resources can be classified as renewable resources and non renewable resources so renewable resources are those resources which are unlimited and are not affected by human activities such as solar and wind energy yet careless use of certain renewable resources like water soil and forest can affect their stock now non renewable resources are those which can be exhausted very quickly and it takes thousands of years for it to be replenished and therefore it is considered as non renewable resources what are human resources people are human resources you and i are human resources people can make the best use of nature to create more resources when they have knowledge skill and technology to do so and that is why more than all these technological in advancements in science the most important resource is human resource improving the quality of people skills so that they are able to create more resources is known as human resource development moving on to the next category man made resource natural substances do not by themselves become changed and become resources they need to undergo a process of transformation for example we have uses from iron but not from iron ore so we use technology to extract iron from iron ore so technology also is human made resource so people use natural resources to make buildings bridges roads machinery vehicles and so on so all the resources that are made to be useful is called human made resources moving on to the most important part of the lesson conserving resources it is very important that each one of us learn about the importance of our natural resources using resources carefully and giving them time to get renewed is called resource conservation resource conservation is very important for non renewable resources balancing the need to use resources and also conserve them for the future is called sustainable development it is our duty to make sure that we use our resources very wisely because we have generations to come after us and we need to leave behind a healthy planet this can be done through three easy steps that is reduce reuse and recycle it is nearly impossible for me to say that stop using plastic it is not going to happen but we can definitely reduce the use of plastic and make sure that whatever amount of plastic we use let us recycle it we have generations to come after we go and it is our duty to leave behind a healthy planet so simple manners that we have to inculcate in our daily behavior like you know just when you leave the room switch off the lights and water resources use it very wisely just don't let the tap running all throughout when you're brushing your teeth so yeah whatever you do it's your duty to make sure that you do not hurt your environment rather protect it thank you